What's up, you guys? Welcome to Kitchen Inferno. Today, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was at the grocery store, and I don't do it a lot. I don't think I've really done any Joe Average generic hot sauce before, and that's exactly what I have today. Um, this is brought to us by El Yucateco. I will not be putting a link in the description for this because, honestly, you can. I bought it at Winco. You can go to just about any grocery store and find this and any number of very similar sauces. Beard's kind of itchy. Um, you go to a number of Mexican restaurants and find it. Um, you can find it at some Mexican restaurants. Most, uh, a lot of grocery stores will have it, so look around, you'll, you'll find it. Um, let's go into, there's nothing really on it that says a lot of the more, uh, gourmet sauces companies will have little things on the side that talks about them, but this isn't going to be one of those cases. So instead, I will just go over the ingredients really quick. Those are water, habanero, peppers, tomatoes, salt, spices, acetic acid, vinegar, um, xanthan gum is a thickener, citric acid, colored with fruit juice, sodium benzoate as a preservative. So it doesn't have much going for it by way of ingredients. Um, Based entirely off of those ingredients, though, um, it's not going to be a bad sauce, so we'll see how it is. It is habanero based, so it could have, it should have a little bit of a kick to it. Um, I'm not terribly familiar with El Yucateco. I have, uh, I'm a Tapatio, Valentina kind of guy. You guys know me, I don't like heavy vinegar based sauces like Texas Pete. Louisiana hot sauces, uh, Tabasco, um, although Tabasco does have a few sauces that are quite good. Their new scorpion sauce was really good. Um, and vinegar based sauces do have their place. If you're going to put them on like chickens and stuff, maybe fishes, but we're going to give this a shake. Right, we'll smell it first. Um, the first thing I smell is the habaneros. That is the absolute first thing I can smell. So, that's a good thing. I don't want to be smelling anything weird, like a lot of vinegar. Um, super high amounts of salt. It does smell a little bit salty. Um, smell the tomato in there. I don't think I listed that in the ingredients. It's interesting though because it doesn't have any garlic or onion in there labeled, so that might actually fall under the spices. You know, the spices is pretty general, uh, all encompassing kind of deal, so we'll see. It's got a good consistency. Not too runny, but not too thick. It smells pretty good. Go ahead and try it. Wow, that's actually quite surprising. For a store-bought generic hot sauce that actually has a fairly good kick to it. Um, that is courtesy of the habaneros. Um, and it's very strong in the habanero flavor. Um, get a little bit of the garlic and the all the other spices. I'm trying to pick any of those out, but they're blended in. They're really good. Um, that can fill a little bit of salt and vinegar in there, like I said. Um, that's a good. That's actually a pretty good sauce. Um, 
Now for just, like I said, for a store-bought sauce, like you could do a lot worse. Um, it already died down. Um, that's that's really not that bad. Um, is it spectacular? No. Um, I have sauces in my refrigerator that are absolutely amazing and unfortunately this isn't going to hold a candle to those but if for whatever reason you don't have access to the internet or you're not able to order a lot of the sauces that I review check it out because that is actually not that bad heat it had a very strong up front and center burn from the habaneros. It's the first thing I got out of it. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of out of ten on heat. Um, it's very very up front with the burn, and then it dies down, and you can taste the the pepper and the vinegar, the salt, whatever else is in there with the spices uh, for a decent flavor. I'm gonna actually give that a seven on flavor. Um, it's really not that bad. Um, I used a whole tablespoon. Serving size is supposed to be a teaspoon. Um, so I went, like, yeah, I guess, a little overboard with it. But like I said, I'm not gonna put a link in the description or anything like that. Um, just go look for it. You'll probably find it. But this was the, the El Yucateco. Hot sauce, salsa picante, the chili habanero. Yep. The habanero. That's it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you again later.